Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you the most underused slash underrated features in BGS. Let's go off with number one. Number one is actually group benefits. No one uses this for some reason. Well at least I don't see people using it. I never I never use it myself actually. Um, every two hours you can claim a boost and I can give you like 20, uh, 20 minutes of luck which could just put you over the edge and hatch you a secret. Doggy jump, don't do doggy jump. I was about to say doggy jump's underrated, but doggy jump is not underrated. For doing, like, you get, like, 20 out, 20 minutes of boost for quite hard doggy jump. It's not worth it. Staying in this corner, we have the lab. The lab is so underused um, that I see. Bring potions. I don't brew potions at all, but... It's very underrated because for quite cheap you can make these and then you can make these and eventually you can make these and these are so important and I have so many potions now which is just um, it's just amazing I'll never run out of potions really so massive shout out to the lab the labs helped me quite a lot making all those potions up uh, so definitely use the lab all right next one's also here the shard shop um, and the quest so you go over here you grab a quest you do the quest, and then you go back to the shard shop. It will give you a boost, and so it will give you some shards. Let me show you a uh, quest. Blow 1 billion bubbles. I'll be back when I blow 1 billion bubbles. Okay, I've now got all my pets equipped, and now it's just time to blow. So, guys, just 10 minutes later, it is done. We have officially um, blown our bubbles. Oh, God, my alarm's going off. Okay, alarm problem sorted. Let's continue. And also, I need to get these pets out of my face because no one wants to look at pets. So, yeah, let's go over here. So, once you've done your quest, uh, you pick between a hard, medium, or easy quest. Boom, blow one billion bubbles. Easy, medium, hard. Easy looks really easy. Collect 500,000 currency, except coins and gems. That's really easy. Rewards 55 shade shards. You probably shouldn't have done that. But uh, for those ones, the ones which are like collect currency, just equip. Equip pets. I'm just going to equip two because I, I can't rather than it's an easy quest so I don't have to collect that much currency. Uh, and then go to your auto collect. You might not have auto collect, but if you have auto collect, go to auto click. And I recommend having overworld and one of, one of these unchecked because there's a quest which is collect um, a certain amount from a, a, uh, a world and then there's one that's collect a certain amount from the overworld. So you want to have the overworld and maybe even rainbow land or like beach world. One of them unticked, but remember you don't need to, uh, you don't have to have, um, remember to turn the overworld on every now and again to get some more gems, but I've got enough gems to last me forever. So yeah, we turn on overworld for a bit. Uh, oh wait, yeah, yeah, no, 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 we turn on rainbow land, it was wrong, I forgot. Yeah, there we go, rainbow land, and now I should have done the quest, there we go. And then medium looks like this, collect three billion gems, there we go. That one, that one to collect gems. So you go over here now. You go to overworld to collect the gems. You keep it ticked for a bit. There we go, we collect the gems. We did the medium. And then the hard looks like this. Collect 30. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I can't do that again. Anyway, guys, you get the point of that. And then with those shards, you go over here and you can buy lots of boosts. There we go, and it makes a nice little sound. And we're going to hatch a secret. We did not hatch a secret. Do I have to say these are underrated? I don't know if people use these or not, so these might be underrated. Everybody get your daily reward and do your spin to win. Because um, it can give you an hour of boost, and this can also give you like an hour of boost, and it can also can give you potions. There we go, I just... Oh, okay. I was about to say, there you go, I just got a uh, hatch speed, but no, I got the plus one enchant potion. Well, that's not fun. The penultimate... Um, what's, what's this video about? Penultimate... Change, uh, change. The penultimate thing that people don't do is there's these buttons up here. Use them. Well, especially the coins and gems. Mainly the coins and gems. Have your coin gem, your team, uh, your gem team. And I see people, uh, like sorting through their pets, just like, oh, which pets have higher gems? Just click this button. It will order all your pets in higher gem, in highest gems. So I think my archangel is highest and everything. Do not. Also, don't select any of the worlds. Just select multi currency at the end here. Um. Also, when you search your pets, don't just delete the delete the typing. You can just click the X to delete all the typing. So if I type something and click the X, it will delete all the typing. There you go. You don't need to press backspace. I don't know if people do that, but I used to just I used to just hold backspace whenever I type something wrong in this. Um, I've got an idea for a video. Um, 
bubblegum cinnamon rate uh, like uh, bubblegum cinnamon to alphabet. I put A in and then I don't know, just like something like that. Um, Azarex is out here bubbling, and guys, the last thing which is very underrated is the best thing that you've ever seen: the Inferno Dragon Egg. Oh yeah, best thing in the game. This thing is such so cheap, and you get such a good pet. Do I even have an Inferno Dragon? I don't even have an Inferno Dragon. That's how legendary they are. Or you could go to the second island and buy one. But that's just a way more expensive option. 6%? That's too hard for me. I'm going to spend 250 Robux. Can we hatch it? We actually hatched it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We actually hatched it first try. Let's, let's, let's equip it. Inferno. Yes. For this stats. 200 Robux for these stats. Oh, my God. Spoil me, Isaac. Spoil me. Um, can you buy anything better in the shop for 200 Robux? You could buy a, uh, I think, yeah, wait. Does this have better stats? No. So, yeah, it's the best thing to buy in the shop, clearly. Like, you shouldn't buy anything else without Robux. This is the best thing you can buy with the Robux. So, yeah, um, you should buy 10 of these and make a, make a shiny. You shouldn't, you shouldn't try to hatch them. I got very lucky there. I shouldn't have hatched one first try. They're one in, they're, they're one in, like, 26 or something they're like 1 in 28 they're like they're really rare they're like super rare from that egg I, I don't think I don't think it's possible that you can hatch them why, what are, well, why are people just hatching loads of things in the server it's my server to hatch my legendaries Jesus Christ anyway that is definitely the most underrated feature this egg right here is so poggers also another uh, an honorable mention is spiky egg but people use it quite a lot I just if you haven't used it if you have a like a hatch a hundred legendary quest sit here it's one in ten yeah it's ten percent there we go I just hatch one there and make sure to also delete emerald golems because they will clog up your inventory fast we'll go here add pet and then write emerald golem I've already got it as also deleted so every time I hatch one every time I hatch an, uh, an emerald golem um it won't go into my inventory. Anyway, guys, this was the most underrated BGS features. And, guys, uh, next video will be a Bee Swarm video. So, I hope you enjoyed that Bee Swarm video. Alright, guys. See ya.